What's up guys, Laidback Gaming here bringing you a Halo 4 Forge tutorial series. This is episode 2 of how to make a racetrack and the first episode was how to build a hill so you can go back and check that one out if you have not already seen that and uh, this second episode will be about making a bank turn not anything special just a normal bank turn not a bank wave or anything like that just a, just a bank turn and if you don't know the basics of forge it's pretty simple you know if you hold down your right trigger you can move objects and stuff with the right analog stick or the uh, left analog stick so it's it's pretty basic and uh, we'll just kind of hop right into it basically when you're making a, ba a bank turn is just something that's going to, you know, it's just going to start here, you're going to go up, and then you're just going to turn, you can go left or right, I haven't really decided which way we're going to go yet, um, but the first thing I want to do is just kind of bring the track up a little bit, um, so we'll go ahead and do that just just a little bit, and the thing, the bad thing about Halo 4 is there is no precision, precision forging, uh, so you kind of just have to tap RB or LB and A at the exact same time, which is really annoying, and I was, you know, I'm surprised they haven't already fixed that or made an update for that, I would... I would have thought that that would have been one of the first, you know, updates for Forge they would have done, but surprisingly they haven't done anything with that, which really kind of uh, kind of made me mad, and I was really disappointed that they haven't done anything with that yet. But you know, maybe in the future they'll they'll do something. We hope, I guess. <laughs> um, I guess we'll see. Um, I was a little bit disappointed that they haven't already um, made an update for that though. So. Um, We'll go ahead and make another block here, and you don't have to do this with block 2x4s. This is just um, what I'm using for it. It's just, I'm going to use all of the objects, um, that I'm going to use all the 2x4s, and then I'll move on to another object in future tutorial series, but this is what I'm going to do first. And again, just like in the hill tutorial, you don't want to make the, the track go up too fast because it just gets really bumpy and also, especially when you're making a, a bank turn, unless you're, tr you're going for you know, a drift turn, you don't want to make it extremely steep, otherwise it's hard to really race on it unless you, you know, have some man cannons pushing you up or something like that. So you don't have to, you don't have to make it go up first. You can go ahead and start turning it if you want. Uh, so I'm just going to make it go up one more block and then I'll start turning it. It really, it's really all preference. You can make, you know, it, it depends if you want to make a steep bank turn or if you just want to make a, um, you know, not really a steep turn, just just a turn in general that's not really that steep. Then you can go ahead and turning it instead of waiting to put it up a little bit. So I'm just going to put it up this next block. I'll lower it a little bit, and then I'll go ahead and start the turn itself. So we'll lower it down, and you can see how it's just really annoying to. Um, get the get the objects to really merge together well and smoothly. Um, so I'm hoping maybe again I'm hoping they'll hopefully make an update for it. But I don't know. I mean, there's you know only like a year until Halo 5 comes out. So I don't know why at this point they would make one. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna say we'll go ahead and turn to the right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna line the you're gonna line the blocks up and you're just gonna hold down your right right trigger and you're gonna push to the right with your left analog stick and you'll see it turns it now you don't want to turn it too much you can if you want but if you turn it too much the turn itself will just kinda of look a little bit sloppy and it won't look that good so that's why I, I usually don't turn it a ton and you'll see here that the right side is it's it's diff, you know it's angled it's not you know perfectly I guess lined up with the previous object you can see that the right side of the of the object comes up before the left side so you can tell it's a little bit you know angled uh, a little bit angled so you'll come over here to the side and you'll hold down your right right trigger and push down on your right analog stick and it'll fix that up just a little bit and what I always do again um, I said this in the previous tutorial series I always check both sides to make sure they're smooth you can tell that the um, objects are very smooth. They're not. There's not one that's sticking up uh, compared to the other. And you'll check the other side, and this side looks pretty good as well. So then you can uh, go up above it, and I always make sure that they're lined up good. And once you do that, um, again, I always just double check to make sure that everything's lined up good. And once you find out everything's good, you can place the object, and then you can take your other object and you know push down on your D-pad to duplicate the object. And again, if you want, you can turn while going up. That's something that uh, you would more see for while you're making a bank spiral. But I mean, if you want to make the the bank turn come up a little bit, you can. But just for this tutorial, I'm gonna keep it going at the sort of the same the same angle, um, or I guess the same um, steepness. <laughs> um, I'll keep it going uh, right there, and we'll just make 
just a just a simple bank turn and then future episodes I will have you know a banked wave and a bank spiral and everything like that and sadly with you know some of these objects you'll have it to where when they're merged they kind of you know really move around a lot like that you see me looking here and it kind of moves around a lot and you know sometimes they don't look that good it doesn't look that good like that and there's really not much you can do to prevent that sadly it does really suck because there's sometimes where you know you really want an object to look a certain way or a turn to look a certain way and you there's nothing you can really do to prevent that um, which which kind of sucks and again you don't want to make the turn turn too fast because otherwise it can look really sloppy even though it's not necessarily like rough um, even if it is extremely smooth, um, if you're not careful and you turn the, if you and you make the turn go really fast, it can just kind of make the track look really, um, really just weird and almost kind of look have like a really bad overview. So you don't want to turn it too much. And you can see here it's sort of starting to turn, and you can tell this last piece kind of looks a little bit odd. And that's just something that can happen while you're making while you're making the track. And I guess I'll go ahead and say this um, for now. One of my favorite th uh, pieces to use when I'm um, making a turn is I like to go to the, um, I believe it's bridges, give me a second. Uh, no, hold up. Um, inclines, I like to go to the inclines and I'll go to a um, either a, a ramp extra large um, or like a ramp stunt, you can do a ramp stunt and turn it over and over sideways um, because it doesn't have all the little you know indentions and stuff that a two by four has. So it can really look you know if you make a turn like that, it can really look smooth. Um, so that's just kind of something I'll do. Obviously, I'm not I'm not doing that here, but um, that's something that I'll probably use in the future. That or wall doubles. There's a lot of uh, pieces that you can use to make racetracks. I mean, just about anything you can think of that's this wide. If you're trying to make a double wide, you can use. Um, it, you know, it's amazing to see how unique and creative people are with pieces that they use for racetracks. Um, there's a lot of people that still will, you know, use pieces that you won't even expect them, you know, to use, or it, you wouldn't expect anybody to use for a racetrack. You know, in Halo Reach, it wasn't really you wouldn't have expected really somebody to make a you know a track out of you know your natural pieces like your rocks and stuff like that but now in Halo 4 it's very very common for people to make rock turns and stuff and that's that's one tutorial that I would like to make is um, making a rock turn tutorial although I don't, I've never made a turn with rocks so I might have to look at like maybe getting Noble Forger to like make a tutorial for me and uh, upload it to my channel uh, we'll see. I'll figure something out about that because I feel like a lot of people would be interested in trying to know how to do that. And um, I know I'm not really talking too much about how to about you know forging this right now, but I feel like I pretty much explained everything I need to explain. You're just going to go back and check both of the edges and uh, keep turning. And you'll see here, this is kind of an example of how it can look just really out of place. You see this turn kind of coming up and then all of a sudden you have this one piece it just kind of looks really out of place and you know sometimes that can be because you turned it too quickly or um, just because just the piece just decided to look a different color because it wanted to be stupid like a lot of a lot of the cases are for racetracks it, you know it really sucks sometimes you'll have those pieces that just turn black and you'll see this one's just like a lighter color than the other so it really just kind of stands out and sometimes it's just really annoying I wish there was something you can do to prevent that um, because sometimes you can just kind of almost ruin the look of a track, uh, but sadly there's not. Now, when I get closer to having this turn be at, you know, 90 degrees or whatever, I sometimes, instead of turning it like this, I'll go here and then turn it. But the thing about this is when you turn it like that, you obviously, you can tell you're going to get it off, you, it's, it's going to be angled and everything, so you're just going to have to, you're just going to have to adjust it, and that's something that I always do. You're just going to have to make sure that you adjust the angle um, so that it's not, you know, rough and, um, you're not going to just hit a spot, I guess, because, you know, if you leave it like this, you know, say you leave it like this because this side right here looks fairly smooth, but then you're going to, you know, race and you're going to run into this and it's going to be really bumpy. So just make sure you check both sides um, just to be sure. And again, try not to turn it r too quickly. Obviously, you, if, depending on how Depending on how big of a turn you want, if you want a really big turn, if you want a really small turn, then you can adjust the amount that you turn the object at. But for me, I'm not really looking to make a really short turn, so I'll just keep it keep it turning at about the same uh, the same way it's turning now. And again, you can tell that it just kind of looks out of place. And sometimes pieces will do that to you; they'll just turn to a different color, whether it be a light color, or sometimes they'll even turn black. And it's just it can be really annoying. Um, but that's just something with 
Halo 4 that sadly um, it does that and it's something that you know it's happened in all the Forge games it's not just you know um, Halo 4 but Halo 3 it happened a lot and honestly the color change probably happened a lot more in Halo 3 than it did with any other game especially on Sandbox I don't know anybody who who forged on Sandbox but there would be a lot of times where like sometimes your piece would turn gold like this almost and then you know other times your piece would just be black and it was just kinda like well that sucks um, now you know the rest of my track just looks stupid because I've got this random black piece in the middle of my track um, so it can be really annoying but um, I really do help, hope this tutorial and the previous tutorial are helping you out a lot. And if they are, please be sure to comment down below and let me know that it's helping. A lot of people, this is really kind of what I did in Halo Reach, and a lot of people really loved it. I got a lot of great feedback for it, and, you know, people are still commenting on those videos today saying, you know, wow, dude, thanks so much for the help. It really helped a lot. So I'm hoping that this is going to have the same impact that my Halo Reach tutorials have. Sadly, these videos are very long because I don't want to edit them. I want you I want you to kind of get a feel and actually watch me as I forge an entire, you know, turn or hill or whatever it is, just so you can kind of see, I guess, um, how I make my turns. And maybe if it's not, you know, me explaining stuff, maybe just watching me make, you know, a turn or whatever will help you in making your track. And you can see where, and this is just another example, where it's not necessarily bumpy because I can ride, you know, slowly go across it and there's no bumps, but it just looks really bad. And, and that's something, sadly, that happens with some of these tracks. I'm just going to go ahead and test it out. I'm going to move, move the mongoose on top of the hill right here, and we'll go ahead and test out the track just to make sure it's, it's fairly smooth and it's working well. Um, again, it doesn't look that great, um, but, you know, you can tell it's, it's pretty smooth and there's not too many bumps. Um, but yes, it, it really does look bad and that's one thing you want to make sure is that you don't uh, sometimes when you're turning it you can make it you can make it go up and you can kind of see there's a little split in the bottom two of these pieces and that will tell you that it's going up just a tad you have your piece going up a little bit so you want to move it back down um, to make sure that it's not going up otherwise your turn can sometimes look a little bit I guess not necessarily bad but just it can it can look a little bit odd maybe um, as, as this piece does right now. <clears throat> um, kind of mess with this a little bit more and then I'll just move on to the next piece. I'm not really trying to spend a ton of time making this look, you know, professional or really, really good. I just kind of want to get you get, give you guys a feel of how to make, of how to make these, these different turns and um, all this stuff just so you guys can know how to do it. And then, um, you know, you can spend a lot of time on those turns, making them look really smooth and, and really good. It's, um, and again, you can see here that the piece is going up, and that's something you just want to make sure you avoid doing unless you are making a spiral. And I'm going to be making a tutorial series over how to make a bank spiral in the future, uh, so uh, you guys can check that out whenever that comes out. But now I'm just, you know, trying to make a simple bank turn and just kind of going over how to do that with you guys. And uh, I said this in the previous series, uh, a previous episode, but if there's anything certain you would like me to make a tutorial for um, that I don't already have um, a tutorial plan to make, um, I, I need to list, what I need to do is list the tutorials I'm planning to make in the description so you guys know which tutorials I am making. But if there's, you know, any tutorial that you would like specifically to see, just leave a comment down in the uh you know, comments and comment section and let me know and I'll be sure to check it out. And if I think it's something that, you know, you know, a lot of people would probably enjoy seeing that or anything like that, then I'll definitely try to make a, a video for it. Um, again, the, it, you can tell that it's just kind of looking really rough and I hate that it does that. Um, so I'm going to try to fix that just a little bit. I can't really do too much about it. Usually I don't make bank turns with 2x4s, and you can see why, because I really just make them look crappy and really bad. Um, even though they're, you know, not necessarily bad, they're, you know, it's still smooth, it's just, looks really awful. <laughs> um, um, but I'll try to fix that up just a little bit, and uh, we'll see if we can make it look just a little bit better. It looks a tad bit better. Again, you'll check both of your sides to make sure that the, it's a little bit, you know, it's really smooth or whatever, and you can see that this one's a little bit off, so you'll move that up just a tad, and then you'll go back down here and make sure this one's good, and you'll see this is a little bit off again, so you want to move it up just a little bit this time, and then move it out so it'll uh, come up a little bit, and you'll see that this is a little bit more even, 
Um, now, the thing that I guess I haven't mentioned through this series, but I mentioned in the previous series, is I don't use magnets um, or edit coordinates or any of that. I just feel like it's kind of just takes the skill out of, of forging. And the thing about that I loved about Halo 3 was that there was none of that stuff. There was no merging objects or anything. You had to take a long time to merge objects. So really, you know, forging was just, I don't want to necessarily say a lot more fun because it took a lot longer, but it was just, you know, there's a lot more skill involved. So it was just a, kind of like an elite group, I guess, of, you know, racetrack forgers and, you know, different like Slayer maps and stuff like that. Because there was only so many people that could really actually make the maps because, uh, you know, either people didn't have patience or people just weren't good at making it. But now that, you know, um, Halo Reach Forge and Halo 4 have, you know, brought in all these different aspects of forging, really everybody is, every you know, anybody can really be good at forging. So, um, and for those of you who currently aren't that great at forging and would like to be, at least for racetracks, I hope, I really hope that uh, this, you know, simple tutorial really helps you out and kind of just shows you how I make all of, you know, my tracks and everything and uh, maybe it'll uh, make you guys better forgers and I'd love to see some of you guys watching this video making a you know make a track from watching from what you've saw on this tutorial I think that would be really awesome um, and you can see I'm kind of a little bit more than halfway now again this is kind of not it's not a really long bank turn but it's not like a super short one I would well actually you know I kinda consider it a short uh, a really quick bank turn um, as I'm coming, I'm starting to come around already. So it is a little bit of a short bank turn, uh, but I kind of just, you know, it's already, you know, like 17 minutes in, and I don't want to spend uh, a ridiculous amount of time on this tutorial. I want to try to spend, you know, only about 20 minutes on each because I don't want to bore you guys. Because obviously, this stuff can be really boring, especially listening to me talk for 20 minutes. I can't even imagine how bad that is. But um, uh, so I'm just going to try to make every tutorial video just about 20 minutes long, and if I need to make one a little bit longer, which I'm sure I will, probably, um, I would assume probably the banked waves will be the longest one, because that, it's always hard to make a banked wave really, really smooth and, and, uh, really well made, so that, that's probably going to be the longest tutorial, uh, that I can see now. That, or I'm planning on also making a glass turn tutorial because uh, you know I, I had just made my first glass turn not too long ago and it actually turned out really well and I actually really liked it so and a lot of other people have you know complimented me on it as well and said like I wish I could just you know I had one person I think it was Wolf that said you know I wish I could just like delete the rest of your map and just lock these pieces together this this you know uh, glass spiral and just use this turn and then start a new map because I like the turn so much so it's really nice hearing that people um, enjoyed that turn and just enjoyed my track in general that I made. And if you haven't checked that out, I'll have a link in the description to go check the uh, video out for that map. I it was my it's my only map I've made on Halo 4 actually. So um, it's kind of crazy to think that I've only made one map, but um, I you know I made a lot more maps in Halo Reach and even more maps in Halo 3. I've, I guess I've sort of sort of kind of died down with making maps from really focusing more on my channel and all that stuff, um, just focusing on getting videos out. Now I'm in college, so I really don't have too much time to really make a lot of maps anymore, I guess. Um, and I apologize for making this kind of look almost kind of like a really sloppy turn. It's not necessarily a sloppy turn. Um, the thing is, for, for me at least, I'm going to go ahead and uh, test this, this turn out again. The thing for me is uh, normal bank turns like one similar to this, I don't necessarily like in maps because they're just so, they're so almost, I guess, generic, you could say, and just so simple to make, sort of, that they just kind of, they're not, they're, I don't want to say necessarily not fun, but in a way, they're not that fun to race on just because they're really simple. Um, so now you'll see, I guess I kind of screwed up that piece by blowing up that mongoose, but now you'll see most maps don't have just, you know, a normal bank turn like this. Most maps you'll see now have either bank spirals or banked waves in them. So, um, you know, you don't really see many just straight up bank turns, nothing else anymore, which is interesting. But again, it's just, I think it's just because it's, it's so simple and almost kind of a boring little turn that not many people like to, you know, make them or race them anymore. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, but again, if you're just kind of starting forging and or starting, you know, racetrack forging and you haven't really made one before, then I recommend, you know, maybe um, starting off 
your first double wide making some of these maybe not a lot even if you just made one would be it just it's just nice to be able to know how to do even though it's you know fairly simple it's pretty much the same thing as making any other bank turn um, and it's actually easier uh, so this is something that I, I feel like a lot of people probably can already do um, but I'm gonna make a tutorial on it for you know those people who might not know exactly um, the best strategy for making these and I'm not really given a good example because <laughs> this it almost looks really it, it lo does look a little bit sloppy so um, it's you know it's smooth and everything but the turn itself does look really sloppy so I apologize for I guess not necessarily making the uh, turn look really really nice or anything like that um, usually I actually take a lot longer than I than I am now on making turns but uh, for the sake of the video I'm trying to really speed things up and, and make things a little bit faster usually I would try to spend usually I would spend a lot more time making this turn just to make sure everything was really smooth and everything um, and I, I recommend that you guys do that as well, in, unless you're impatient. If you're impatient, then obviously, you know, I'm not going to tell you to <laughs> tell you to take your time. But it's something that I think really helps a lot is, you know, taking your time and just to make sure that your turn is really smooth and works out well. And, you know, I'm 21 minutes into this video now, so I'm just going to put, you know, one or two more pieces down and then I'll race it. And uh, you guys pretty much have gotten it by this time, you know, I guess by this point, uh, because it's, uh, pretty much done the turn itself. It's just, <clears throat> I mean, you got ba the I guess the basics of of making the turn itself. So um, I'll just put this piece down and then I'm gonna go race it real fast. So we'll check this side. Looks pretty good, and we'll check this side. Looks pretty good as well. So we'll put that down, and you can kind of see where it's where it where it's come back now. So there's your little bank turn right there. So we'll go get the mongoose, check it out, race it. Hopefully it's pretty smooth. It was pretty smooth the first time I raced on it, so maybe it'll be smooth this time. And you go up. You don't see really too many bumps at all, which is nice to see. So there's your bank turn. I hope this you know little tutorial helped you out a lot. And if it did, please be sure to give me a like and a favorite and share the video to your friends and everything like that. I'd really appreciate that. So if this video helped, just leave a comment down below. I'd love to see any comments letting me know that this video really helped them out. And um, so that, that stuff's all like really appreciated and I really love it. So definitely leave a comment down below if this helped you out. If it didn't, and if you have any questions or anything like that, then also leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to try to read all the comments and answer any questions that you might have. Uh, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have more videos out like this each week. So definitely be sure to subscribe to my channel and check these videos out whenever they come out. Uh, so again, guys, thanks so much for watching and please be sure to subscribe.